Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a 21 week pregnancy update. We're going to be talking about a few things, how I'm feeling, how I look, um, some things that people told me and maybe I shouldn't have listened. But anyways, we'll get into all that, but first make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And from here on out, I'm gonna do a pregnancy update every week until I give birth, so make sure you hit that bell and you'll get notifications every single week. First things first, I wanted to talk about morning sickness. So do I have morning sickness? Uh, the answer is no. That stopped around week 12, I'll say. I didn't really get it that bad though. Some people I hear are really like on the toilet or everything, they, they smell, they, they throw up. That wasn't me. I will say there were certain things that triggered me feeling nauseous. Um, and that was the smell of a certain, of a few things. But I didn't necessarily throw up every time. I just felt the nauseous feeling. Um, however, like I said, that went away and I feel great. I will say I'm constantly out of breath. <sighs> like right now. Um, I don't let that stop me though. I still try to get up and move and I'm constantly getting up just to feel comfortable. I'll go take walks around the neighborhood or to the mailbox or um, I'll park extra far at the store so I can walk further just to make sure that I'm getting as much fresh air, as much oxygen, as much exercise as I can get. Um, am I tired? I will say that this week, I'm at 21 weeks, this week I feel great like a spring chicken. Who would have thought? The first trimester of my pregnancy, I was tired, like for no reason. I felt beat just waking up in the morning, going to work. Um, but by now, I'll say that that's subsided and I feel like I have a spurt of energy. I'm trying to get things cleaned around the house. Um, prepped for when we move into a house, which hopefully soon. Uh, we'll see about that though. Um, and just like trying to get things organized and make it so it's not so hard for Moses when he gets home. He works 10 hour days and he's providing for our household. So I feel like I should make things a little easier for him at home. So I try to stay busy by um, dishes or keeping on top of laundry or walking the dogs, whatever the case may be. Sore boobies. A lot of people have sore boobies still. I don't. I had them in the first trimester, but that subsided. I will say, and sorry if this is TMI. So if you don't want to hear this, skip forward. I will say that my <laughs> areolas or nipples, whatever, areolas, the part around the nipple, has gotten bigger. They used to be small and cute and now they're, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but this must be all in God's plan. I don't know. I was in shock one day. I looked up in the mirror and I was like, what the fuck? front door is that um but it's just the name of the game I knew it was gonna happen it was just a matter of when <laughs> I will say though the weight gain is real and I will say that that's from my cravings your cravings are like ridiculous I know I said this last week but my gosh when you want something you want it like yesterday, 
and I get so irritated if I don't eat on time or if I'm hungry and I don't feed into my my hungerness. Like right now I'm starving and I can feel myself like getting irritated on the inside. But anyways, <clears throat> the weight gain is real. However, me and Moses talked about like yesterday we went to the gym and I walked on the treadmill for 30 or uh, 20 minutes. And I look at it this way, hey, that's 20 minutes more at the gym than we were doing before. I'll add that on top of my walks, drink lots of water, and try to just have healthier alternatives to my cravings. And I will let you guys know how that goes in a few weeks. So stay tuned for the updates. Let's see, what else do we have here? Maternity clothes struggle. I don't know if you've noticed, but I only have two maternity shirts this black one here and a blue one that's in my previous videos you're so focused on getting stuff for your baby excuse me that you kind of forget about yourself and in reality i'm home all the time so i was like oh i don't need maternity clothes you know i'm you really don't fit into them until you're like month five anyway. However, like from, for example, I had to wear this again in this video just because I haven't took the time to go get more. And I don't really know, I, I want to, like I'm going home for Christmas, I need clothes to like change, I can't wear the same shirt every day, but I don't really care to buy clothes for myself. Like, I'd rather throw on sweats and a big t-shirt and buy baby clothes or baby necessities. So, anyway, next thing is, oh yes, this. So I asked some people, you know, when should I start buying baby stuff? And a couple of um, people at my job, customers, coworkers, my family, um, they all said, you know, wait, which I understand waiting because you don't know, like pregnancies are, are such a blessing, right? But you don't know what's going to happen. So you want to wait, but now like I'm creeping on month six, I have three months to buy large pieces of baby furniture and baby necessities and mommy to be necessities. So it's gonna be crunch time. Meanwhile, our lease is ending soon. So like I said, we're trying to move into a house. We need another room. This is just a one, one bedroom apartment. So there's the pressure of that as well. And lease is up in March, I'm due in April. So as you can tell, things are going to get hectic really fast. So we'll see what happens with that. Stay tuned for the updates and I'll, I'll talk about all that later on. Meanwhile, how does my belly look? It's chubby, so sorry. This is belly at week 21 someone came up to me the other day and they said you're really big for week 21 and I was in shock I was like really like do you realize how rude that that sounds like what am I supposed to be and this is my first time ever being pregnant I didn't know there was a, a guideline on on uh how big you can get or how big you're supposed to be I mean obviously I could tell on my face I'm gaining weight but at the same time, it's like, we're so blessed to have babies and to, to be a mom and to have a growing family that weight is just not the, the first thing that you should notice when you notice a new mom. Like, it should be congratulations on your pregnancy or congratulations, you're, you're coming along great, you know. But instead, it's a weight and people become so judgy when you're pregnant. Oh Lord, let's talk about that real quick. Um, 
people start giving you all sorts of advice. Now, mind you, like my sister-in-law is pregnant with, t- with twins right now, which, oh my God, we're so excited for. Um, she's due in December. I constantly ask her for advice. Why? Because she's a mom right now. Like she is going through this right now. She also has toddlers And I find people giving me advice that, you know, the times have changed. Like, I told someone that I I was switching to a midwife in a a birth center. They're like, why would you do that? You need a doctor there, like, in case an emergency happens. Like, what's going to happen? Like, out of all the things that you could say, you could say congratulations on trying to do it natural. Or, you know, at least you're trying to do it that way or... I see your outlook or try to gain more knowledge on on what that process is like. But instead, they're like, they're so judgy. You should really do it in a hospital. You're going to need the epidural. There's plenty of people who don't do it with epidurals. And if I need one, who's to say that I that I won't get one? But (sighs) there's a part of me that's very glad that me and Moses are in our own space because at the end of the day people can give as much advice as they want but we're still gonna do things the way that we want to do them you know like we still have our our midwife appointment um next Monday so (laughs) certain things aren't aren't gonna change I take into account what everybody, all the advice that people give me, but unless I specifically ask for it, like I do with my sister-in-law, I specifically ask her certain questions and she helps guide me and and give me good advice. Both of my sisters-in-law, I I ask them questions. But some people see that you're pregnant and then just automatically start spewing advice and like I didn't ask for it but hey if you want to give the advice I'll listen I guess but anyways enough of that rant meanwhile I'm very excited to be pregnant I'm very excited to be this far I'm so excited to see what motherhood's like I can't wait to be a mom I can't wait to have a family with Moses he's gonna be the best dad ever like you guys don't even know he's already the best boyfriend and does it's not even like what he does for me it's how he makes me feel he I I literally feel like a princess nine times out of ten and the only reason why I don't feel like princess one time out of ten is because my own stink attitude (laughs) and it's not because of him so yeah he really tries his hardest and I want to give back I want to give him a son. I want to give him a family. So stay tuned. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for future updates. Um, Every week, like I said, I'm going to do a pregnancy update. So make sure you hit that bell and you'll get notified. All right, guys. Thank you so much.